Hey everyone, GeForce41 here with another PGA Tour 2K23 design tip tutorial video. Today I'm going to talk to you about bunker sculpting, specifically pop bunkers, Lynx bunkers. Um, where are we? Um, we are at um, my work in progress. I'm doing a Lynx course. Um, and between doing this and revisiting the technique and doing some reviews of the rookie courses, there are lots of Lynx courses in my reviews for the casuals um with some really good courses um i thought i'd put a little tutorial together um and also a couple of you've asked me so um you know due to the other videos uh and people watching they they, they asked about techniques and things like that so here's what we're going to do i'm going to show you kind of what how they should look like which is why i'm here on the ninth hole uh go through a couple things quickly then show you kind of the not the how not to lecture and then i'm going to Kind of show you literally how to do it the technique with the brushes and everything like that it's fairly simple to get a simple decent bunker in i am not great at it i am not professing to be great at this <laughs> but i think you can make them look pretty good um it, it, with using this very simple technique all right so th you know this is what we've got going here all right so let's look at this ninth hole you'll notice one thing i did here uh the lighting i put behind the clubhouse there always sculpt and create into the the good favorable light if you can with the sun behind you um you, you know when when the sun when you're down sun so to speak let's turn around this way it looks a little different right um there's nothing you can do about that as a designer so um what i'm doing here is um moving this light behind it so you can see these bunkers i've got two fairway bunkers here a couple bunkers up by the green okay and what you want is this look uh we're gonna go uh just hit a tee shot here and again, this is a very rough work in progress. Right? I'm going to fix that wall, and there's no planting and anything like that. So I'm just laying the holes down. So if I go over here and say, hey, let's play this hole. Let's take a look at how this look sets up from the tee box. And what you want is the kind of look. See, you can see them there, right? They look like two kind of gaping holes. You see the shadow, not the sand. And that's okay with these bunkers, right? Because these pop bunkers go down. So you kind of want that look, uh, and you'll get it when the light's behind you, or I'm sorry, the, the light's behind the bunker in front of you. Um, they kind of got that, ooh, gaping hole, you know, this thing's going to suck your ball in if you hit anywhere near it look. Um, this isn't too ominous, but that's, that's way out there. That's 300 yards, okay? Uh, you can see that off on the right, there's a bunker for, it's a little par three off to the right. That's six, I believe. Okay, so you kind of want that look of there's a hole uh literally it there you know these these bunkers go down a bit okay um they're slightly flattish we'll talk about that um and you know you don't need gigantic bunkers if they're these pop bunkers five to six yards across maybe at the most all right so that's kind of the look that you want and we'll talk about how you get that uh i'm gonna hit a tee shot here and then we'll go look at the bunkers fronting the green Okay, so you can see here, here's the green, and there are those two bunkers there. Same kind of thing, right? Um, you've got the kind of gaping hole, and we'll go up and we'll take a closer look at them. They go down, they're sort of flattish. There's about four or five feet um, down from the wall, you know, from the bottom of the sand to the top of the wall there. Okay, are those great? No, I mean, but I did those fairly quickly. But what we can see here is, you kind of got that kind of cool look going on. No, no, you're not going to get the same look with the light um, behind you in front of the bunker. But again, you know, I've taken some time to do some sculpting here to make this look pretty cool. All right. So definitely there's a look and a feel there. Um, you know, don't go here. Um, you know, this is much better than some of the, the, the things I've seen lately. And I did this very quickly. All right. So that's the basic... Um, concept you're going for um, bunkers that look like this they go down a little bit you gotta you know you don't have um, the option for a wall right in in the designer in the um, official courses they do have some actual pot bunkers right but that's why we're here we don't have access to them so how do you do them you got to create that wall artificially and basically approximate it and come up with something uh, and that's what I did here and you see there's light rough around it um, and and some heavy rough Okay, and so let's take a look at um, 
some of the things I see that are kind of not how to do it. And then we'll talk about how to you know do these bunkers. And even if we have time, talk about um, how to do a fairway bunker, okay? All right, here we go. Okay, so what I did here is create the kind of how not to, it's a fake hole, it's not a real hole, it's off to the side of the course. Um, this is some of the things I saw a lot of in the past couple months, right? You look over here, folks will just plop down a bunker, they'll use the shape, they'll just use a circle, plop it down, plop it down, plop it down. You know, you got three of the same shapes, there's nothing creative about it, it's cookie cutter, and there's no sculpting. And it's the exact same size and very repetitive. You're not going to see that anywhere. But I saw a bunch of that. Okay, the bunker is not sculpted in the, uh, you know, in the actual surface area, and it's not sculpted around the bunker. Okay, fairway bunker, same thing. This one's just plopped in, in between two hills here. It's really not sculpted. It goes down because the the, the designer takes the the landscape and pushes it down when you put the um, the texture down, and there's no real sculpting around the sides. Okay, it, you don't have that wall look like we're looking at, right? And I know this is down light, it's going the other way, but still, even if you go this way, they don't look that good, do they? Right? They look like, you know what, it's a family show, I'll keep it clean. Okay? So I see a lot of that. Um, again, when we'll talk about this later. When you do a fairway bunker, um, you're gonna, if you just use a shape, you're going to get that thin band of heavy rough around it. You don't want that for these. So you want to use the spline and then go around this bunker and we'll talk about that more later and then I see some of these these bunkers on the side and people will attempt to sculpt them and use that flatten brush and then look make them bathtubby like this all right they'll take oh I'm hitting the flatten brush and they flatten it all right and it just looks absurd and here there's no sculpting around the frame of the bunker the sides right so this really should be you know this should be elevated a little and this should be like the high side of the bunker um, and this is the low side um, and it just looks frumpy and lumpy and bumpy and ridiculous. Okay, same thing up here. I threw a couple bunkers up here. No sculpting. Goes down just with the with the brush with the brush when you just laid it in. And um, same thing over there. Just no sculpting. Right. Those don't look very good. Okay. Just because they're a circle doesn't make them <laughs> a pot bunker. All right. So that's kind of the how not to version. Um, let's talk about how you actually do this. Okay, so we're at the 13th hole. At the 13th green, we're gonna put a bunker on that left side there and that little curve over there. Um, landscaping tools, quick review for those of you who are very new to designer, there's landscape raise, landscape flatten. Landscape flatten will literally flatten like an iron and average out the terrain, meaning it will change the uh, sculpting. In other words, if I do this, it's going to change that sculpting and flatten it out. Okay. Landscape raise, on the other hand, just raises the terrain and the sculpting that's already there. It's just going to lift it up. It's not going to flatten it out. So what you want to do to create this um, look is to make sure you kind of you 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 do want to cut into the terrain a little bit. So you do want to shape it first, and you do want to kind of raise it a little. Uh, depending on where you're putting your bunker is how far you're going to need to go up. But I'm just going to raise this and shape it a little more than it already is. I'm going to go up about a little bit less than a foot. About eight inches, okay? And the reason is why, you'll see why. You want to cut into the hill, okay, with a hard brush. So this is the soft brush. So let me just, what, my brush terminology. I call this the fuzzy donut, okay? <laughs> it's fuzzy, but it's kind of got a hole in the middle. So this is the fuzzy donut. This is the main fuzzy brush that is your main sculpting brush that just about everybody uses. This is the fuzzy oval, fuzzy brush, fuzzy donut, fuzzy oval donut. Okay, um, so you want to take the fuzzy o the fu sorry the um, fuzzy donut, kind of shape it a little. You know, if you wanted to just raise it, if you already've got like the curve in there, like if we were working with this hill over here use just the raise tool, but I just wanted to shape that a little, get a nice smooth curve. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut into it with a hard brush. Hard brush meaning there's no fuzziness in the middle. It's going to cut. Usually, especially in the old game, a lot of people didn't want to use it when they're doing bunkers. But here, this is how you have to do it to get that look. You want to create that wall, and you do that by cutting into it. So you want to take this brush, sorry, I'm going to zero it out. Put it up here, and oh, I'm sorry, I didn't measure. First things first, measure about five to ten yards 
is the most you want to do with these. You probably want them about five or six. So that's a perfect little spot. That's why I selected it. See, it's six six yards there. All right, I'm not going to leave that there. Um, but that's what you want to do. Sorry, before you do that, I had already done that. Failed to mention it. Okay. So you don't want them too big. You want them about, you know, five yards or so. Let's go back to the tools. Flatten, okay, not raise, flatten. Hard brush, circle. Get it out, you know, to the size you want that bunker. And you're going to lower about one and a half to two and a half feet, sometimes even three, depending on how low you really want to go. But I do about two to two and a half um, because you don't want that wall to be much more than four feet. All right, and we'll talk about that in a second when I cut it. But you see what I mean? Lower it and see how it cuts. You want to cut into that hill. Usually in the old school way of doing these, you didn't want to do that. It, I don't mind that it tears. A lot of people are like, oh my God, it tears. It's tearing the thing. You want that there because you need this to go down. Okay, it'll be fine. Trust me. Deep breaths for all those of you who hate tearing the terrain. You'll be fine. Let's just do two and a half here, okay? Okay, so now you want to hit it. Okay, here's the key. You want to do this at least three times. Zero it out first. Okay? No, don't do two and a half three times. Two and a half once. Zero it out. I do that by hitting the left joystick. Uh, on, I'm on PlayStation. However you do that on the other, you know, games, uh, consoles or whatever, the PC, I don't know. <laughs> and then to, you don't have to do the same exact shape or size. Now you want to just keep flattening it. Because what you're going to do is flatten that wall up against the green, right? That's going to be your fake wall where the sod would normally be. And you want to keep flattening where the surface area, where the where the actual sand is going to be, the texture of the bunker you're going to lay down. You can make it a little bigger. So that's two. And move it around a little. Three to just change the size. However you want, I'm sorry, the shape or the size. So now you got a wall over there, okay? You can keep going with this four or five times if you really want. Knock yourself out. But you want that flat bottom to the bunker and you want that wall, okay? Now you've got a little, a nice little flat surface there. Some folks want to make it flatter. I'll talk about that next. And you got a little bit of a wall going on there. Okay. Okay. Flat bunker. I, I don't know what's going on with the flat bunkers. You don't need to make them perfectly flat in my opinion. I know there's some folks out there who are much better designers than me talking about flat bunkers. I guess those exist. I, I Look, disclaimer, I've never played these courses in real life. So... Uh, I go by what my eyes tell me, and I've checked a ton of videos, uh, YouTube, regular pictures, and yes, they look very flat um, in general, but they do look a little concave to me, especially around the sides. So to me, I make them a little concave, but basically flat and smooth. If you want to make them perfectly flat, go ahead. There are examples of that, and go out on the boards, and you can see them. If you're in a contest, and, you were in, and that's the look you're going for, knock yourselves out. You can use the same techniques and brushes. Um, just spend more time getting them perfectly flat. I don't think you need to do that. Um, I think it looks perfectly fine. I think it's realistic if they're just a little concave. All right, so that's that disclaimer. So now what are we going to do? All right, now you got to lay the surface in. So two ways to do it, brushes and splines. Um, you can do either um, when you're in the rough. Like I said, you want to use the spline in the fairway. Here... Um, I'm just going to use the spline to show you because everyone knows how to use oh, Let me do the shapes first. I'm going to just delete them. So one thing to remember when you're doing the shapes, don't just use one shape and leave it, right? Because it looks cookie cutter and computer generated. If you're going to use the shape, even the circle, do it two or three times to create a little bit of a unique shape because these things are not perfectly geometric, all right? They're not perfect circles. Look at them from Google Maps or whatever they're a little bit different. They're not perfect circles, okay? So you don't want to just put one shape down. So if I were doing shapes, I would do something like this. One, move it over to the left, two, move it over to the right, three. Okay, that's not perfect. And I would, then you go around and tweak it a little, right? Maybe you want a little bit more there or what have you. But do it like that so it, they don't come out the same and look cookie cutter, okay? Um, but we're not we're not going to do that here. But that's just a way to do shape, and that works really good with the oval. You'll get some good unique shapes with the oval brush um, that are kind of like almost like a triangular shape bunker. Um, there we go. Um, so just vary it up. Just don't hit one brush ever. All right. So splines. You can use the splines. You can do um, just a square or a diamond and um, enlarge it. 
or I, I tend to make like a, a pentagon or a hexagon, to be honest with you, depending if you want a big bunker. The, I think the little square or diamond works on smaller bunkers, so we're going to try it. Um, one, two, three. Close it up. Uh, when you're doing this, you can also change the width of the spline because uh, it's big, you know, it's big for a small space. It's a, it's at like 10, you can move it to five. Um, from here, you've got it down. I like to edit it, sharpen and smooth, start, just to know what you're working with. Okay, and now just pull those out and make that circle bigger, right? Because you've got a pretty decent circle there. I didn't do a great job of doing it fast and I'm talking. You could take forever and a day getting these perfect but just move it out a little. Move it out a little. And fit it right in with that flat section, okay? That spot there looks actually pretty good. I'm gonna move this side out. It's not quite a perfect circle yet. You don't want a perfect circle, but it looks really silly at the moment. This is not great. Like I said, I'm not good at the, the four points. Okay. That works well with smaller spaces. So you can do it that way and just work in the circle. Um, I, that looks a little too oblong for me. So I don't, I, I tend not to do this. So um, I'm going to scrap it and go with kind of the five or six points. But I just want to show you how you can do it that way. If you can get that to be a perfect circle, or I'm sorry, I keep saying perfect circle and contradicting myself. If you can get that to look good, go for it. Um, so that's one way of doing it. I particularly stink at that. So I'm going to go like this. One. I kind of go like that. Okay. To me, that works better. That's almost good as is right there, right? Um, like I said, I'm going to take this. Path width is 10. I'm going to move that down to 5. And move these out. Okay. I might not make you wait. I might clip this video, just do this for you, for you and then sharpen and smooth it. That's a decent circle. For purposes of the video, we're going to go with it. I'd spend a little bit more time than I did there getting it the right look and feel. But that's not bad, right? Okay. So now here's the next problem. Like I said, you put the surface in and it goes and it pushes it down. So we've got this thing down from the middle. It's, it's 1.4 inches high. It went down, right? That's not what we want. The bunker itself, let's see, to the top. It's about four feet. That's pretty good. You don't want to go much further than that. So here's all you do. Um, you take this surface, and I'm just going to get rid of those. And you just raise it, okay? It's a little, see how it's way too concave? I want a little concave, not that much. Landscape, raise. Depending on how deep it is, you can use the fuzzy donut. And brick and bring that center way up, which I might do here because that is way down. I'm just gonna do fuzzy donut about five inches to get that up a little, or just use the plain fuzzy brush, which I'm gonna do the rest of it and bring it up about a foot. Since I did five inches, I'm gonna do about ten inches. Okay. You don't want to click and drag too much like I did there, but just click, click. Okay. You're just bringing it up and it's nice and level. And this is where getting it nice and smooth and even. And flat to start really helps because look at the surface it's it's smooth it's just a little too concave still okay so you just want to eyeball it again there's no science to this a lot of eyeballing raise these sections up and try to get it flat and again if you want it perfectly flat this is how you do it just keep doing this till you get it as flat as you want it Again, knock yourself out um, you're gonna think I'm crazy because I'm gonna raise it up 
and then make it concave again. But the point is to get it up and then flat. So that's pretty good. Um, we've got some squiggles there. That is something to be careful of the squiggles. Again, I rushed this for the video. Um, so do be careful of squiggles. But that's pretty good. It's not great. Again, I'm not going for uh, World Cup of Design here. Um, but not bad, okay? You can play with this more. Um, but now what I want to show you is how to just get a little concave. So that's that's not too bad. The sides are up a little, but it's kind of what we'll want in the end. So two ways to do it. You can just take this now and go back and go, this is still in rays, go fuzzy donut and just go down three inches, two, three inches, not even four. If you like how, you know, that smooth and flat that is, and just that will make it a little concave. Not much, a little. So that's one way to do it. The other way is, well, if you really think it's not flat enough or smooth enough, you can go back to the landscape flatten. And again, if you're new to this, you're going to think this is crazy. You don't want to hit flat and you want to hit just zero because anybody who's never done this before is going to say, oh, just zero it out, right? It's going to make it flat. Nope. Watch what happens. It pushes it down. Wood. Don't ask me why. It's above my pay grade. I'm not a tech person. I have no idea how they program these things. I'm going to undo that. So that's that's the problem here. When you hit just zero to flatten it, it pushes it down too much. So you counterintuitive, you have to raise it. <laughs> and now it looks like it's going to pull it way up. It's not. So something around a foot and a half, I think, kind of makes it perfectly flat. But you'll get a little conca concavity, I should say, around the foot or foot two. Um, if you want it a little bit deeper, 10 inches. Um, so I'm just going to go a foot to show you what that does. And here, since it's a circle, you can just kind of hit this once. And that's going to smooth everything out and give it a little bit of concavity. Okay, it's not perfect. I don't like this section here. Uh, I'll show you what you can do with that in a second. But that's not bad, right? It's pretty flat and it's got a little concavity where you'd see where, you know, somebody walking in this bunker um, would have a kind of a little bit of a pitched lie over there, which is kind of what you see in real life, I think. Um, so if you don't like that little section there and that wall, again, just take the brush and you can just push that down, okay? So you can tweak it a little. Now, here's the thing. Let's get back to the wall. Um, to make this wall even a little bit flatter, what you can do is the same thing. Take the landscape rays. I go to the fuzzy donut and bring it down four, five, six inches, right? And this is going to flatten it even more. Okay? And that's going to give you that little bit of a that deep down bunker look, okay? Okay, from there, now you can sculpt the outside. The outside's pretty sculpted already just by the fact that it was raised to begin with. But you can go around here um, and do the basic sculpting that you might do around the normal bunker using the fuzzy donut. Two, three inches. I'll just do two. One at a time, two. Okay, and you might know how to do this from other bunkers. Go around the sides, okay? Two, three inches. On different types of bunkers, you might want to go higher. Um, here you kind of want that f that low side flat. You don't want it too big. Okay, and you go around the whole bunker uh, otherwise if you're doing a different bunker. This is already elevated because I we had raised it beforehand, right? Remember? What you might want to do now is just, you don't want to flatten it, but you might want to raise it a little. You know, make it a little more ominous. You can do this. This, couple inches, okay? Couple inches, okay? And that's it. So that's raised a little. So you can see now you're getting that look like we saw before. If I was looking at this from a distance, there you go. It's kind of, all right, kind of that hole in the ground ominous look. All right. This isn't great. I'm talking and I haven't never tried to do these and talk at the same time. Um, so that's the shaping. You'll notice on some of these, I'm putting in a light rough surrounding to um, replicate that wall. And I suggest that here. Um, since you can't put that sod wall in, what I've done is light rough um, to replicate that. And really, you can just use a shape. Um, brush, circle, put the light rough. Okay. 
kind of like that um this is going up against the green that might be too much that looks a little silly so for the sake of the video i'm just going to put this here maybe one more here and i got to think about how that's going to look i think i'm going to leave it that way just kind of like that for now okay and you can play with different looks i mean do you you might want to do something like this um but maybe not. I don't I don't think you do. I think you want that separation here. Okay. All right. So again, is that perfect? No, but I did that pretty quickly while I was talking. All right. So that's kind of how you do it. Um, raise the terrain, sculpt the terrain first, take a hard brush, cut it down, flatten it, and then get some concavity. Look out for the squiggles there. Um, and then kind of make that pseudo looking wall using some light ref or something different to make it st stick out. Okay. All right. Um, fairway bunker next. Okay, so we'll use these two here. Talk about the fairway bunkers. Um, and you want to follow the same technique. I'm not going to do all that and just waste time on the video, but pretend I had sculpted. These are not sculpted. I didn't, I haven't done much of anything here. Um, what you want to do, uh, once you do, you do all that, follow the same technique, get your bunkers nice. You take, uh, the fairway brush and go around it um, and what I like to do is have the fairway kind of go right up to the, the, the low side the front of the bunker okay you can be a little bit more careful with this than I'm doing now then go up around the sides and close it in again you don't want that filled you want that closed and you want to do the second surface light rough okay you're gonna fill in the the center of it with light rough anyway um, so it doesn't particularly matter you could even skip that step um, what you want to do is very carefully go spline by spline I'm gonna probably do a spline video too because some of the splining outs I see out there is horrendous um, and fit this in really neatly okay you want this kind of going off to the side and you want that fairway ending right at the top of that um, hill, that bunker. Whoops, I grabbed the handle, not the point. Okay, and we're going to go around the whole thing. So this is a little too far. You want the fairway ending like right here. Okay, so you want that, you know, that full wall thing we're trying to create since we can't do the sod and the walls. Uh, and you're going to go around and around and around. Okay, I'm going to cut the video here and just do it for you and then be back. Okay, I'm back. So I replaced this um, shape with the spline and it went around it. it. Very quickly did this to surround it. Not the greatest job I've ever done, but it'll work for now. Okay, um, so now from here, I don't like leaving the heavy rough here in the middle of the fairway. Um, again, I'm going to put the light rough in. You can use the shape. Now, now you can just use the shape to your heart content because you've got the fairway there that's going to overrule it. So you can just go like this. Okay. Fill it all in with light rough. Um, here, I might decide actually to make this heavy rough. So um, just because this is going to be like almost like a principal nose. Uh, but if I was doing one, just one in the fairway like that, it would go like that. Okay. And you'd have the the fairway on the other side and I'm, I'm not sure what i'm going to do here but so let's just make it light rough for now for the purpose of the video okay and again these are not sculpted i'm just showing you the technique for the fairway um put some light rough in there um and then obviously you got to fill in the rest of the fairway however you want to do that is up to you but i just color it in the old-fashioned way uh, with the circle brush Okay, I'm not going to do that here on the video, but I just kind of color it in, go all the way around, make sure you don't miss any spots, etc. Okay. And that's it really. So I'm not going to do much more here for the purpose of the video. Um, but then we'll go back to nine and look again. So now that we've talked about all this. Okay. So, you know, there you have um, 
some buckers that stand out um, and using you're using the spline and using that light rough in the same technique. All right. So that's kind of what you do with fairway bunkers. So let's go back to nine and wrap it up. Okay. So now that we talked about that, you'll see how this kind of works. Uh, here's nine again. Here's the fairway bunkers. See, I got splines, splines. Um, that's a little deep. I got to redo that one. Um, and then the light rough is emulating the wall. Same thing here. Splines, splines, light rough emulating the wall. This is cut down into it, right? Into the slope. The fairway is going to probably take this into these bunkers, which it's supposed to do. So I know people will whine out there um, who are a little uh, too entitled. <laughs> but that's what these things are supposed to do. And here you see one off to the side. I surrounded it with light rough. Um, same kind of thing. Again, I'm not sure that's the best. That's okay. I might have to redo that a little. And there's that look again. Okay, same thing up by the green here. Cut it down. Cut it down. And again, I got some light rough on the walls. You can't see it too much because the, the sun is actually blocking it. But we're going to play the hole again, show you what it looks like. Here we go. Okay, so now knowing what you know, see what I mean? You can see those two bunkers off in the distance. They're looking slightly ominous. They're kind of looking like they'll just suck your ball in right there. Um, you can see that bunker off to the right. And you can even see those two bunkers up by the green, right? From here. All right. It's not a bad look, right? Off the tee. Get a rip at it. And then you get a look at it as we're flying them over. Okay, and now you can see up in the distance the same kind of thing. And there you see those two bunkers kind of glaring right at you on the right side of the green. That's a pretty simple T. Uh, T, listen to me, hole location. But if you can see the hole was back here, that's a little different, right? All right, so it looks okay. And again, this is all rushed. This is a rough draft. This is not perfect. This will not be a World Cup of Design course. <laughs> Um, but I think these look pretty good. So compare that to the how not to lecture that I showed you in the beginning of the video and some of the bunkers you've seen in some of my other videos. Um, these are okay, right? So these will pass. It does not take you too long. Once you do it a few times, you'll get the hang of it. Um, so that's my way of doing these kind of links bunkers. Um, I'm sure there's other techniques that are far superior, but that's uh, all my brain can handle. So hope this helps. If there's any other topics you want to talk about, Hit me in the comments. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.